Hello friends. Today, let us learn one more way of data representation called pie chart. Let us begin. Many a times, you all must have come across data represented in circular form in newspapers, magazines or on the television. These are called as pie charts. A pie chart is also called as a circle graph. For example, look at the pie chart. Now, let us learn how to read it. The circle represents all the fruits in the shop. The title tells us that the pie chart is about different fruits in Flora's fruit shop. The circle is divided into smaller parts called segments. Each segment of the circle represents a different fruit and a specific value. Here it is the number. Pie charts are best used to compare parts of a whole. Now observe this pie chart and answer the questions. 1. How many fruits are there in all? So here we find the total number of fruits that is 76 plus 52 plus 43 plus 22 which is equal to 193. So we say there are 193 fruits in all. Next 2. Which fruit is the maximum in number? Here, as apples occupy the largest segment in the pie chart, the answer is apple. 3. How many more mangoes are there than bananas? Here, we need to subtract the number of bananas from number of mangoes, that is 52 minus 22, which is equal to 30. Thus, we say, there are 30 mangoes more than the bananas. Lastly, 4. Which fruit is the least in number? As bananas occupy the smallest segment in the pie chart, the answer is banana. Why not solve one more example to understand it in a better way? Look at this pie chart. It shows the favourite sports of all the kids of Lotus Society. Observe the chart and answer the questions. 1. Which sport is the favourite of 58 kids? Badminton is the favourite sport of 58 kids. 2. Which sport was chosen most by the kids? How many kids chose that sport? As cricket occupies the largest segment in the pie chart, the answer is cricket. And 63 kids chose it as their favourite sport. 3. How many kids chose hockey, chess and basketball in all? So here to find the answer, we will add 46 plus 23 plus 52 which is equal to 121. How many kids are there in all at Lotus Society? So here we find the total number of kids that is 63 plus 52 plus 58 plus 46 plus 34 plus 23 which is equal to 276. So, we say there are 276 kids in all. Wasn't it fun reading a pie chart? <laughs>